One by one, handmade furnitures are being delivered and safely stored away for families and children in need. It's a program started by the Punky Lake Wilderness Camp, a society that helps deter youths from a criminal or negative lifestyle. But that's not all. Every single item here are handcrafted by inmates from various correctional facilities in the Lower Mainland. I met with a man that works for Correction Services Canada, or he used to, he's retired now. Uh, his name's Brian Lang. He grew up um, in this region around Lac La Hache and I think for Prince George for a while. He really wanted to benefit the, the communities and the families around here and so he came up with this idea that would benefit the inmates in the facilities as well um, by filling their idle time. And when you fill idle time in a prison, it cuts down on gambling and it cuts down on drug use and it cuts down on violence. Um, so it, it's, it's giving them employable skills for on the, you know, upon the release and it benefits the families in this area. The project is called Work to Give and while the idea to help those in need is hugely beneficial to the community, the project requires more than just the help of Corrections Service Canada and a storage full of items. We were super excited about the idea of the whole thing. It was just the logistics of how do we do it and how do you get enough donations of raw materials to, to keep supplying the prisons with what they need to make this happen. We, we've been so lucky um, for you know people to just, out of the kindness of their hearts, giving us even you know, half open cans of paint and things like that, that that have been put to use and have painted picnic tables and beds. Um, T-Lane Trucking out of Mission um, took us on as as one of their charitable causes and they they deliver and truck up all this stuff for free. It doesn't cost us a dime. If it wasn't for the kindness of other people, um, we wouldn't have been able to get this far. It's a fantastic thing, you know, because there's lots of people out there that can't afford to do it otherwise. You know, and there's lots of single moms that can't afford it. And I think as a society, Sometimes we overlook it, but on the whole, I think if everybody is put to the test, they'll step up. As the executive director, Sarah has touched many hearts through this program. We've met tons of families through this. Um, what we normally typically do is, is contact the band offices or other charitable organizations around Williams Lake because we try to help them out as well um, and see what people are in need of. We have had a family that we met, um, it was last summer, uh, whose house burnt down and we were able to supply all new beds for the children in that family. Um, being able to do stuff like that is, is you know, it, it's so gratifying and it's so much fun to, to be able to say, I can fill that need for you. From picnic tables to bed frames to one-of-a-kind rocking chairs and even something to keep you warm. Without the help of the dedicated and talented inmates, none of this would have been possible. We've gotten some really great stuff in, in this shipment in particular and, and the guys that are working on this, the inmates that are working on this project have gotten uh, you know, so much skill development out of it. The, the items that are coming out of the prisons and getting to us now are, are beautiful and so well made. Um, we have, in the very back of the shop here, we have a dollhouse that was made that is completely furnished. All the flooring has been done. It's been painted, decorated. Um, that was one man's job. That was what, that was what he chose to do and, and he did that for us and I think that's spectacular. It's very great. You know, it's, it's good that they have uh, like the prisons are, are stepping in and helping the prisoners are helping provide this stuff and I, I think it's good training for them as well and it gives them a purpose too. Sarah plans on visiting the inmates this month and thanking them personally by showing them photos and sharing stories about the families they've helped thus far. For Go Williams Lake, I'm Christina Chang.